Hi Kuki here again with another Titanfall video. I'm currently um, trying to level up to Regen 4. And if you've seen the Regen 3 requirements, uh, a lot of people I spoke to say that they're actually, they're probably the worst. Uh, I think a lot of people really don't like them. Uh, and it, basically what it involves is you have to kill a lot of pilots with the R97 and just get a lot of kills in general. So that's like grunts and spectres with the R97. That's fine. That's actually not that hard. Um, I think the ones that people have a lot of trouble with is the plasma rifle, um, the titan weapon, um, because, yeah, well, I'll get into that in a second. Uh, the other one is satchel charge kills, so basically uh, I'm trying to get them. I just got one there, bang. Um, and yeah, I, I, um, I'm I really not good with satchel charges, this is the thing. Um, I'm really good with frag grenades, like cooking them, getting like long range kills with them. Uh, I've, you've probably seen me do this quite a lot in my videos. I've got a lot of cool grenade kills in my videos, especially ejecting ones as well. Um, but the satchel charge, like I, I've said before that I, I'm, I play a lot of COD, like I love Call of Duty, but uh, I was never a C4 guy. Uh, again, I always use frag grenades. Uh, I never use C4, never use mines, claymores, none of that crap. Um, and the same is true for this. I don't use art mines. I probably should because uh, there's a lot of people using them recently. So I don't know if they've been buffed up. Uh, maybe you guys can help me with that in the comments if you use them. Let me know what you think about that. Um, and yeah, I never use satchel charge. But I started to, you know, I have to force myself to get good with them to get to regen 4. So I'm playing here on dig site and I've got my loadout set up. So I've already got the R97 challenge, so I'm using the carbine at the moment. But I'm trying to get kills with the, the satchel charge. And I've got two already, so that's not so bad. But it, it just so happened that the, you know, the enemy pilots weren't paying attention. So I, I can't really claim I used a lot of skill to get those kills. But yeah, the, I mean... I've been killed so many times by satchel charges when, you know that classic thing where you, you you and another pilot spot each other and you run round the corner to hide and all of a sudden they chuck a satchel charge round the corner and blow you up because the radius is so big. Um, I'm not really good at doing that, I haven't replicated that really in, in my road to regen 4 so that's kind of annoying. Um, but I actually, I did really well with the satchel charges recently on another map. So um, keep an eye out for that video. It, it will show you how I've kind of improved and I'll discuss how I've done that. So let's just quickly move on to plasma rifle. So here we are. Um, the thing about the plasma rifle I think people don't like is because it takes an age to, to charge up. Uh, and once, once you hit a titan with that full blast, man, it is, it is really powerful. But you get into a situation like this where you're kind of standing toe to toe with a titan. Unable to run, unable to get away just waiting for that, that damn gun to charge and you're taking so much incoming fire like if you could drop a, a, a particle wall yeah sure but it's not going to last forever um, same is true with vortex shield you can only do so much with that so like I'm standing here you know charging on my, you know I'm about to start charging on the rifle there's no way I'm getting out of this situation and I it just it just it's kind of a really like <coughs> I find it really annoying to use in that regard like it's it's, it's a better weapon to sort of hang back with um, while maybe two other titans are fighting and you can just like steal the kill. I don't feel good about that. I never like to kill steal and I don't, I don't actively do it. But it seems to me that... And situations like that with the satchel charge like you just saw there, like that's where Dead Man's Trigger would come in handy. Um, I hadn't unlocked it by the time I made this video but I just unlocked it. Um, Dead Man's Trigger, if you haven't used it, is a pilot ability. So... Uh, when you die, all of your explosion, all of your explosives will detonate when on, when you die. So, in that case, there, I chucked a satchel charge at that player. Um, I died, but they, it would have gone off with Dead Man's Trigger, and they would I would have got the kill, the afterlife kill. Um, so I find that ha that that would have come in useful a lot. Actually, I find a lot of times I've been killed. Let's see if we can get this guy. Oh come on! Like I don't actually understand what happened there. He was midway through climbing up the wall, so I don't know how he shot me. But um, fair enough. As you can see, like I'm, I mean, this video is purposely bad. Like I, I don't do well in this match at all. Um, but on purpose, like because because I have recorded another match where I have improved a lot with satchel charge, just to show you a before and after, I guess. Uh, I'm not actively going for MVP here, I'm not trying to do anything fancy, I'm just trying to get satchel charge kills and plasma rifle kills. Um, not doing too well either, but it's, you know, it's... I guess it's just to show you how you can improve. 
And I I don't know if maybe dig sites, it's maybe not the best map to be trying to do this because the interiors can be quite complex and if you're just standing there trying to get Satchel Charge to kill you, you're not going to get very far. Um, surprised I haven't had my neck broken yet from behind by just standing there waiting for people, like it's not, it's not clever. Um, and in my second video you actually see me being a lot more sneaky with it and yeah, not just standing around waiting to get kills, really like actually being smart about it and yeah, you you see, you see. Damn plasma rifle again! Like it, it it's like to to regen up to to regen four. You actually have to kill a lot of. Um, so it's like a hundred kills for the top tier challenge, uh, and that could be grunts, specters, or whatever. You also have to kill a certain amount of pilots with it. Uh, sorry, titans with it. Um, and it's taking forever. I don't I don't know why it's just taking so long. Um, and the problem here, you see that titan in the distance, like. The, the, I, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong guys, like, like honestly, do, do give me a comment if I'm incorrect, but this is just how I feel about this gun. When you're trying to fight another Titan long range, the more charged the rifle is, there's more carry on the shot, like there's more delay, like the bullet actually, tr the, the blast actually travels. And I think it travels slower when the charge is higher, I, like, let me know what you think about that, because that's how, that's how I feel while using it, it's kind of hard to gauge it in the middle of a big battle, but... Um, the no charge shot goes really quick and that's really good for killing pilots and grunts and stuff but um, you're not going to do much damage to a titan doing that right so so what you need to do is charge it up and I find I'm missing a lot with it at range so it's a weird, it's a weird thing um, it's much more effective at close range because um, because enemy titans can't run away yet if you're close range with it you're gonna die you're gonna lose the battle because it takes so damn long to charge it this is the thing i think i think a lot of people don't like the way it handles and the way it charges and the, the way your vision zooms in while doing it and you can't dash uh sorry you can dash while you're charging but you can't run and it just it just feels really sluggish and it's, uh, it's i'll be glad when it's over um because i use the exo chain gun with an accelerator i think if you've watched my, my previous videos you see me using that a lot um, and that's great with the accelerator at close range. You just tear through armor and shields. Like it, it's brilliant. You can't absolutely cannot do that with a plasma rifle, and it, it sucks. I really don't like it. Um, but if you like it, that's fine. You know, I'm not saying it sucks for everyone. Um, everyone has a different play style. You know, I I never I'm never harsh about other the way other people play. We're all different. So, you know, just let let me know what you think. Actually, I, I'd like to know what you feel about the plasma rifle. Um, and as always, I will comment back. It might take me a while, but I, I always do it. So, um, yeah. So this is a, just a bit, a quick bit about the map. This is Dig Site. Of course, it's a uh, new DLC map from the Frontiers Edge pack, um, and it is good. You know, I, I like it. It's it's tricky in in the way that the, the buildings are quite complex. People can get the drop on you quite easily, um, and a lot of buildings you can't jump between them because the the gap. You know the sort of uh, the lower level. The lower level is is really wide, so there's a lot of times you have to chance it. You know, sh you know, put your cloak or stem on and just run across this like flat bit of ground and just pray you don't get killed. Um, really good for Titans though. Loads of wide spaces. It's really cool. So yeah, so this match is over. Um, let's see if we can get a few intercept kills. This would be a good point to try and get s uh, some satchel charges. Uh, I have actually had kills at the, the extraction point by just like laying loads of satchel charges down, waiting for someone to wait for the dropship and just detonating them. That's quite cool. But yeah, so um, the, the, the better satchel charge video is coming soon. Keep an eye out for that. This is the purposely bad one, so don't, give, don't be too harsh on me. Um, and yeah, I've been Cookie again. So thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, chuck me a subscription, chuck me a comment, and let's keep the conversation going. Thanks a lot, guys.